Hey everybody, Sean here from GimmeAct.com. Here we are today back in Tech Glitch, grabbing the Shocked to the Core achievement. This is to shock a player 60 times. This is best done in Classic. Recommend playing on the map Maze and setting the timer to 4 minutes. This method will also help you grind out a bunch of the other more grindy achievements like picking up the bolts as well as picking up power boxes as well as player kills. So whenever you start a game, make sure you just leave the second controller by itself and then you want to run around the map and basically you want to focus on picking up all of the bolts first. There should be a total of 30. This should give the game more than enough time to generate the first set of power-up boxes. And as they're spawning in, which one of these you want to make sure you break them. You want to be keeping your eyes out for the lightning bolt one, which is going to be the shock box. Once that one pops up, just make sure that once you break it, you hurry over to where the other controller is in the corner. And then you want to make sure you get a shock off. And that'll be one towards this specific achievement. Once you run out of bolts to pick up and you're trying to kill time waiting for more power up boxes to spawn, all you want to do is you want to make sure you stand in the corner and just beat up the second controller until they die. And every time they respawn, they should respawn within your punching range. So you can just keep standing there and farming kills while waiting for more power power up boxes to appear. So you are pretty much just waiting for more shock boxes to show up and every time you get a shock box make sure you prioritize those, get them and then bring them into the corner to shock your opponent. Since the power up boxes are obviously going to be random this might take a long time to grind out so might as well work on the handful of other achievements that we still need. So this is probably the most efficient way of doing it and you should be able to get all of the grindy achievements done in about an hour or two. So this is is going to be the best method and you just want to keep rinsing and repeating playing this in a bunch of games until you get all of your needed achievements. But of course, due to their random nature, what we're going to prioritize is going to be the shock boxes and the shocks. Once you get your 60th shock off, you should be good for that specific achievement, which should be the first achievement of the bunch that you go for and that you should get. There it is, 60 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.